Bell Carol. This is the tale of two friends, two brothers in the NBA. Dennis Rodman, one of the greatest NBA basketball players to ever play the game. The greatest athlete to ever play in the NBA. And one of the greatest defensive players to play the game of basketball. And Vinny the Microwave Johnson from the greatest team ever assembled, the Detroit Pistons, the bad boy Detroit Pistons team. And they were brothers, man. That's, that's a brotherhood. And to see the things happen the way they did was just sad, you know, because everybody hung out with each other. And they was it was a brotherhood. But when things started to fall apart after the, ever since the expansion draft, the Olympics, Chuck Daly and his fight with ownership, with Bill Davidson and uh, Rothstein, his assistant coach, who's basically backstabbing him for the position, for the job, Dennis Rodman's life is going into a, a spiral. And Dennis Rodman was pretty much shy. And his best friends at the time was Vinny Johnson, John Sally, and that's basically it. So when Dennis hung out, Isaiah or if Lambier were there, they kind of like were the big brothers that looked out for Dennis. But they were married. So they didn't go out to the clubs or hang out. So John, Sally, and Vinny, and all those guys, like Buddha Edwards, you know, they kind of looked out for Dennis. But Dennis will be with John, and they'll get wild. And John Sally was the wild guy. Dennis was the quiet, shy guy. So Vinny... Vinny Johnson's going out with them and hanging out with them and they go out partying they go have a couple of drinks with some ladies and they go to an event Dennis meets this model uh, Annie Bates and this ends up becoming his wife you know and, uh, and after years of dating um, they got married she got pregnant they had a kid together, and for the first time in Dennis Rodman's life, he's a father. So the marriage only lasted like a couple months because there's so much fighting. Dennis is not happy with her, and she just really wanted to get married with Dennis Rodman, have a kid with him, so she could be an NBA wife. Now that she's married, she's got a kid, she's not the same person she used to be. Now she's dictating, she's calling shots, she's got what she wanted. And Rodman, who really loved this woman, and for the first time in his life, and with Dennis's past, came from an abusive like household with his mother and stuff always fighting, his father gone. He never really had a stable home or a stable and loving environment and finally he opens up to a woman he loves and she plays him and breaks his heart and turmoil is is you know is there and she's not answering her phone she's coming home late they going back and forth arguing and fighting during the marriage and this is during the, the season of the 1992 playoff season. Dennis Rodman didn't want Chuck Daly to leave. Chuck Daly left. After the season was over, the 92-93 season, or was that 91-92? 91-92 was Chuck's last year. So the 92-93 season, Dennis Rodman is losing his mind because he's dealing with the marriage 
Um, he's grabbing all these rebounds, but he doesn't want to be there anymore. He doesn't like the head coach at all. He's he's trying to he's thinking they're going to trade him before the deadline. And when the deadline passed and he didn't get traded, he became more distant and more just aggravated because he didn't want to be there anymore where his wife was and he's trying to get this divorce and move on. So they're filing for divorce after like four months into the marriage. They just can't continue to keep this going anymore so they're trying to see lawyers and go through all this stuff and he's still trying to see his kid and she's you know not willing and then she's buddied up with uh, with Vinny Johnson who met them Sally met the wife and everything else but she was really close to Vinny and Robin caught them like together at one time like they were sitting there having a conversation and he was like well what's going on here and he was trying to fight Vinny Johnson and it was over his wife and he was like you sleeping with my wife and Vinny's like no I'm not sleeping with your wife and he was like hey, you have I've been having this conversation I've been following your car he was like, you've been sleeping with my wife. Y'all been meeting up behind me. Y'all been meeting up behind my back and you ain't been telling me. I know it because I followed the car. Dennis Rodman followed them. He followed the cars to a restaurant. He followed the car to a hotel before. And then he said he went there to talk because she called and asked him to meet them there to talk. And Dennis spotted the car. He went by hotels and saw the car. So... At this time, Vinny was already traded off the team and already sent to uh, San Antonio after the 91 season. So he wasn't even playing for the Pistons at this time, but he still lived in Detroit. So it became a big problem, a really big mess. And Dennis Rodman, once that came out that Vinny was sleeping with his wife and all this and Rodman was had a shotgun and he was going he had to go to practice he got the gym himself he's got the gun in the car he's just upset because he wants to get traded from the Pistons he wants to get out he can't just deal with this coach he don't want to be around his wife he wants to be in a new town somewhere way away from all the problems in Detroit he just got to get out of the city it's time to go so once the deadline passed, he just went totally insane. Dennis Rodman is just flipping out, tearing up his house, kicking stuff over. You know, the wife is like saying, Rodman hitting me and I had to keep quiet. It's a big mess. And if you want to read the books, go ahead. Rodman made a book as bad as I want to be when he came to Chicago and she came out with her book following Rodman's book you know she really wanted to be a star one of the models she she got what she wanted you know she got her little seconds of fame and but she was a model who wanted NBA players and this is what she did now Vinnie Johnson and Dennis Rodman, I don't know if they worked their problem out. They had the reunion, the 50th reunion of the Detroit Pistons, and Dennis Rodman was the only one who wasn't there from the team. Chuck Daly had passed, but the rest of the players were there, and Rodman wasn't, and that caused They said, oh, he was uh, couldn't get a flight or something happened, and the Detroit press was upset. And they said it was because of Vinnie Johnson, and then it brings up all the stuff with the ex-wife, and then it's Rodman and stuff like that. So, I believe they worked it out as men at this point. But at that point in Detroit, they know all about the situation. Uh, Vinny still denies it to this day. But if you know his wife, his first wife, 
you we put nothing past her this everything looks guilty with her so you can see how it, it could assume to be a situation so I don't have any other information on that like is it true or is it not because some people are like man you know she did that I just couldn't see Vinny doing that to the dentist no matter how promiscuous the wife is I'm out